Paul Graham from Optimal Body Personal Training. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the best breakfast cereals for weight loss. So most people love cereal, but a lot of people look at cereal as being bad or it can stop you from losing weight. There are a lot of options for breakfast that are gonna be far superior to cereal. Most cereals that you get at a grocery store are gonna to have too many carbs, not enough protein, not enough fiber. All of these things are going to make it more challenging to stay satisfied on less calories, which is the big key if you're trying to lose weight. Also, they're going to be giving you less nutritious food to nourish your body and have you feeling your best. Having said that, there are some pros to cereal. One, it's really convenient and easy, so you can get it ready very quickly. Also, it helps to keep you feeling mentally satisfied, which is really important when it comes to nutrition, is being able to actually stick to your diet long term. So in this video, I'm going to go through some of the best options in terms of commercial cereal that are higher in protein and made with more whole grains than a lot of the alternatives. And I'm also going to go through a recipe for a homemade cereal that has a lot of whole foods and has a nice protein count to help keep you feeling satisfied. So the best commercial options I have here are Special K Plus, which have 10 grams of protein in a serving, Cashy Go Lean, which has 12 grams of protein, Post Selects Great Grains Protein Blend Cereal, which has eight grams of protein, and Quaker Protein Instant Oatmeal, which also has 10 grams. Again, I want to stress there's a lot of better options for breakfast than cereal, but if you're going to have cereal for breakfast, these are going to be your better options if you just want to buy a quick one at the store. I'm sure there's tons of other great options out there. What I'd suggest doing is looking for ones that are highest in protein and highest in fiber and contain the most amount of whole grains or whole foods as possible. Next up, I'm gonna go through a homemade recipe that I picked up years ago. I don't even remember where I got this recipe from. It has more whole foods than most of the commercial versions. It has more fiber and more protein than most commercial brands as well. I have down here that it makes six serving sizes. Obviously a serving size is completely arbitrary. It isn't specific to you. And so you might need one and a half of these serving sizes. You might need less than a serving size. You might need two serving sizes. It depends on your body, your metabolism, how often you're eating, and a host of other factors. So the recipe contains rolled oats, whole flax seeds, oat bran, wheat bran, sliced almonds, maple syrup, and vanilla extract. So you're going to combine all the ingredients into a mixing bowl. Then you're gonna coat a baking dish lightly with olive oil, then spread the mixture out over the dish. Don't pack it tightly, but allow there to be some clumps. Bake it at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes until it starts to brown a little bit. Allow time to cool, and then you can store it in a Ziploc bag, and then you can serve it with milk. If you're serving it with skim milk, you can see at the breakdown there, it'll be about 344 calories per serving, 22 grams of protein, 41 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fat. So there you go. There you have some great options for cereal for breakfast. Give those a try if you're looking to try to lose weight while still integrating foods like this that you enjoy into your diet. 